Okay, here's the last question I'm going to do for you for the week three quiz. These are all independent t-tests, two-way t-tests. So you should have that open already. So run an independent t-test on the variables below, blah, 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 blah. Uh, between the two types of therapy, right? So that's our IV or categorical IV. Um, and these are our DVs. Depression is one, anxiety, quality of life, attachment. I got it. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. We go to analyze, compare means, independent samples, t test. Do, 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 do. And we're doing a group, group, group. Uh, oh, shit, my bad. I uh, made the same mistakes you guys. Group is a, is a categorical variable. That's your grouping variable down here. Define it. I'm pretty sure we used it as one and two. Um, if, if we didn't. We'll get an error message, so let's just put that in there. And then it was, uh, I already forgot, it was depression, anxiety, quality of life, and attachment. Okay, those, those are all your DVs, so we're going to click OK. And it did them all at the same time. Yay us. So here's the mean box. We're going to be jumping back and forth to this mean box. All right, so here's the CBT guys. Their mean was 69 in depression, and the holistic, it was 58. So there was a difference there. Anxiety, yeah, there's a big difference there. Quality of life, 67. Yeah, big difference there. Attachment, 62, 66. Now, again, there's always differences. So we're going to use the T-test to tell us if it's a significant difference. In other words, if you subtract the two means, the difference between the, the two means is it big enough to be considered significant? And what that really means is, are they two standard deviations away from each other? That's what the T test statistic actually is. It's the number of standard deviations away these guys are from each other. And when, when I say standard deviations, I actually mean standard error, you know, but I'm an old teacher. All right. So big differences. Depression went down. Anxiety went down. Quality of life is down, right? And by down, I mean cognitive behavior is the is the higher one, and holistic therapy is the lower one, except for this last one, attachment. It's the other way around. But let's let's go look at the questions first. So anxiety had the largest effect size. Let's take a quick peek on the output here. Um, so the effect size is the bottom box here where it says effect size. Boom. So we go to the point estimate. That is your Cohen's D. We're just looking at the Cohen's D. So for depression is 0.621. Anxiety, it was pretty big. 1.387. And yep, anxiety is the winner, right? Anxiety is the largest one by far. So that is correct. Boom. There was a significant difference in the quality of life. All right, significant difference. It doesn't tell you if one's high or low. That makes it a two-tailed t-test, right? So let's look at quality of life output. We go back up to the main box. This is our main box. And quality of life is this guy. And we're going to look at the sig value. And it was, right, 0.034. So there was a significant difference in the quality of life. And there was a significant difference in depression. Let's double check our depression, shall we? So depression, here's our you know, output box for the T. Depression, depression, depression. Oops, the sig value is 0 0.085. I'm sorry, that is not quite significant. Remember, these sig values, also called P values, they have to be less than 0.05 to be considered significant. So depression is not significant. That was not true. So subjects receiving CBT significantly higher attachment scores than holistic. Okay, so CBT is higher in attachment. First of all, we're going to look to see if attachment is significant or not. Attachment, it was not significant. So that, that question is not true. Right? This, this question was not true because the attachment difference was not significant. This one's uh, subjects getting CBT, significantly higher depression scores. All right. 
CBT depression higher. Let's take a look. First of all, is depression significant? No, it's not. So we stop right there. If it wasn't significant, we don't care. It's not significant. So that question is not in there. So next one. There was not a significant difference in depression scores between the two types of therapy. That's true, right? Didn't we just figure that out? Depression, right, it wasn't significant. So that one was true. Uh, where did I put that? Okay, so... No, there was not a significant difference. That's true. True. All right, CBT... So the CBT was significantly lower. No, we know that's true. Not that's false. This is false, false, false. Because there is no significant difference in depression. All right. Attachment. So significant difference in attachment. Let's look at the attachment. I'm attaching myself to you. And it is not significant. There was a significant difference is not true in attachment. So let me get some more room here. There was not a significant difference in quality of life. So let's look at quality of life. So there was a significant difference in quality of life. And I forgot what the question is. Um, so that one's not true because there was a significant difference in quality of life. And my granddaughter just walked in, so I'm going to just work over her. So CBT and anxiety. So CBT lower anxiety. Was it significant, though? you got to keep asking you that. Anxiety, was it significant? Oh, heck yeah, it was significant. Now, was CBT lower in anxiety? we got to go up to the, the means box. So there's anxiety CBT. Theirs was 84, holistic was 63. So CBT was actually higher, right? CBT significantly higher, not lower. So let's see if we can find that down here somewhere um, on anxiety, 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 there's one for anxiety. Subjects receiving CBT had, this is true, right? But now, where were we? Uh, no, 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 no. So that's, okay, that wasn't true. Um, attachment, hold on. All right, I think we're right here. So there was not, let me scroll to the top here. Okay, there was not a significant difference in attachment scores between the two types of therapy. I believe that was true. So no significance for attachment. Back to this one. Attachment, uh, correct. Sig value is not less than 0.05, so that one is true. Uh, no, no, where was that? That was that one, no significant, that was true. Subjects receiving CBT quality of life. So CBT lower quality of life. And I'm pretty sure that was significant. Quality of life was significant. No, yeah, it was significant. So CBT lower. Is that true? Go back to our means box. Quality of life. CBT was higher. So that's not true. And... So, subjects receiving lower. Let's find the higher one. Um, oh, it's right there. That one is true. Because it was higher. Almost done. Subjects receiving attachment. I don't think attachment was significant. Was attachment significant? Let's take a look. Attachment was not significant. So, that one is not correct. All right. That is not correct because it wasn't significant. And there was no significant between anxiety. I can't remember, so I'm going to go back up here and look. Anxiety. Oh, heck yeah, there was a significant difference in there. So this one is true. Um, oh, okay. There was not a significant. That's false. Because there was. There was a significant difference. And so we already did that. There was a significant difference. That's it right there. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. And then quality of life had the largest effect size. I already forgot about that, but let's go back and check. Scroll down to the effect size box. We're only looking at the Cohen's D. Quality of life, their Cohen's D was 7.774, but no, it was anxiety, so that one is false as well. Now let me check the answers. Please hold. 
And let's check and make sure I didn't miss any. So that's correct. That's correct. Yay me. Love them greens. And these are all blank. That's good. That's correct. And that's correct. That's correct. That, oh, look at that. I got them all. No reds. No reds. These are right. These are right. Yay. So I got them all right. Okay. That's it. I hope it helps. And study this stuff because you guys are going to get your midterm here coming up shortly. All right. MGZ out.